In the pandemic, people are adopting pets like crazy. We remember that spending more time at home taking care of their new pet. But now as people are going back to work, there are concerns over how to take care of them. Rescues noticing an uptick in people surrendering their pets back because they don't have time to take care of them. That now. is really awful. If you can't take care of a pet, you shouldn't get one. If you need extra help caring for your pet, though, help is out there. And new this morning, Taylor Reps is taking us to a new doggy daycare on Grand Island, willing to keep an eye on your pet. Taylor, good morning to you. Tell us when it's going to open. Ed and Katie, good morning. We are here out front of the dog bar on Grand Island Boulevard, which will soon be a one-stop shop for all of your dog's needs. And of course, if we're talking about dogs, I had to bring a special guest with me. We're here with my puppy, Reese, who's what many people would call a pandemic puppy. I adopted her back in January, and since then, we've spent a lot of time together. You know, things were much colder. We were in the house pretty much 24-7. But now that things are opening back up and the weather's getting warmer, I'm leaving the house a lot more, and Reese is spending a lot more time alone and eating sticks. So the dog bar is hoping to be here for owners and dogs as they make this transition. Just last week, Buddy was jumping, chewing, and playing with his owners. Now, he needs a new home. This guy is a surrender. His name is Buddy. Buddy was surrendered to our rescue. He struggles with separation anxiety. <coughs> Owner of Be Their Voice Rescue January Vaughn says there's been an increase in surrenders recently for this reason. Could be, you know, people are back to work. COVID is hopefully ending. People are, you know, easily frustrated with a dog's behavior because they really don't know how to handle it and um, they just would rather return the dog. Vaughn says dogs like Buddy are used to having people around all day and have bad reactions when left alone. They are becoming destructive. People are also, you know, complaining about the dog's mannerism. The dog is barking at other dogs. The dog is jumping. Be Their Voice will take these dogs and rehome them, but they prefer not to. There are other options besides surrendering your dog. I've seen the great need for training. People were returning their dog because of behavioral issues, and they were constantly asking me where they could get training. To solve this problem, Vaughn is expanding her rescue to include a training center called the Dog Bar here on Grand Island Boulevard. We offer five different training classes. Um, and it goes from basic to advanced. It'll be a one-stop shop with grooming, boarding, and a daycare as well, which is another solution to help with separation anxiety. They're going to get the exercise that they need. Um, they're also going to get to meet other dogs. You've had a long day at work, so you don't have to walk your dog. Prices for daycare range from $18 to $24. And if your dog needs a trim, they can get groomed and stay for the rest of the day. We have a daycare for the grooming side as well. We're about the owner and the dog. You know, we want to set them both up for success. So the dog bar is set to open here on Monday and at their training classes, they're going to teach you ways to deal with that separation anxiety, like walking away from your dog for a minute to get them to realize that you will always come back. Reese isn't really that good at that right now. So we need to do, you know, maybe come to some of these classes and work on it. And those dogs that have been surrendered do still need homes. So if you're interested in adopting or interested in learning more about the dog bar, you can head over to our website at WKBW.com. For now, we're live on Grand Island, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News. WKBW.com. Mm -hmm. In your application for Buddy, <laughs> can you? What a baby! We could have banded in Buddy. Oh my goodness! That's adorable. That is so cute. <laughs> can, I mean, just awful, just awful that mm -hmm. they're being surrendered. But so good that they can have this resource in, on Grand Island. Very good. Yes, and I cannot say enough good things about doggy daycare. That is clutch in our house. Oh my gosh! I just want. And buddy. it's a big fan. <laughs> Thank you.